The following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville host Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. And welcome into the Sportsocracy. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers go to Philadelphia tonight to take on the Eagles. And Tom Brady's got a thumb issue, so uh, I mean, you got to you got to knock him for that, right? Uh, I, no, I don't even kind of care. I, I don't care if Tom Brady didn't have thumbs. I'm, <laughs> I, I still feel like I know exactly how this game's going to go, and it's going to be a lot of fire them cannons. By golly, put more powder in those things. Yes, it yeah, is. Thank you, Jane Deckeroff, for recording that for us. I love you, but good God, I get tired of hearing that. <laughs> you hit the button that time. Yeah, That's I not know. my problem. Uh, of course, Tampa Bay with one of the most electric offenses in the NFL. Tom Brady does what Tom Brady does. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Antonio Brown. The Eagles don't have a secondary that can keep up with any of these dudes. No, I mean, Darius Slay can get in somebody's way. I just don't feel like he can do much. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, be really honest with yourself. Tampa Bay is one of the, at worst, one of the five best teams in the league. Yep. Philadelphia is one of the five worst. Hmm. I don't know that they're that bad. Vegas has them as the sixth worst team in the league. Do they really? And the Vegas power rankings are 26. They're yeah. tied with the Miami Dolphins. Wow. Okay. Last, well, well they're, they're trying to go for the sweep of the NFC South, and I don't like their chances to do so. They've already beat the Falcons. They've already beat the Panthers last week in Bank of America Stadium. Sam Darnold had a really bad day. It was a good day for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles defense, and that defense is going to be able to create some problems for the Tampa Bay offense. Not too terribly. I, I don't really like anything here. Uh, it, you know, if I'm if I'm dealing with Philadelphia, I probably don't like it. I mean, you, you, so you go Jalen Hurts, and Jalen Hurts has to outduel Tom Brady. Good fucking luck with that. Yep. You absolutely. Hey, now this is a week that your pure refusal to run the ball mm -hmm. makes plenty of sense mm -hmm. because everybody else seems to do the exact same thing. Yep. Philadelphia doesn't run the ball. They're going to throw. The secondary is still hurt for Tampa Bay, and they'll be able to find room. They'll be able to rack up some yards. I don't think it's going to relate to very many points, but, you know, with Dallas Godert being on the COVID list and he's not going to play tonight. Dallas Godert. I think Zach Ertz is probably a decent fantasy play in your season long. I don't mind him. I would have had him as, as tight end 14 this week. Yeah. I, I mean, he's touchdown dependent. If he scores a touchdown, then yeah, he's a great He's play. a waiver wire streamer. I would agree with that. Yeah. I don't really like any offensive weapon for Philadelphia. I like pretty much everything for Tampa Bay. I would say Jalen Hurts would be the best one just because he's going to Jalen Hurts is the one player, if you if you have him in, in season long, you play him. Yeah. Over or under 300 yards passing for Jalen Hurts? Under. Really? I don't think this game's ever close. I think it's going to be close. Uh, and, they, and, see, I don't. Th that's the that's the reason why. I don't think this game is really going to be close. You'll probably see Tampa Bay get out to an early fourteen to nothing lead, and from there, it's just Jalen Hurts slinging. Projected score, uh, and I'm using BetUs.com lines. Go to BetUs.com. Use promo code Sportsocracy to get 125 percent deposit match yep. in free play tokens. Which means if you deposit 100 U.S. doll hairs, they will give you 125 U.S. doll hairs. And you can put those on tonight's Thursday night football game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Tampa Bay is a seven-point favorite. Money line is minus 300. Over-under is 52 and a half. Yep. Vegas has this score at 30-23, and I don't see a snowball's chance in Atlanta of that happening. No. I would say I this very is well more see, in the... Uh, I would say this is more in the 34 to 14 range. I don't see how against a... It's one thing that Tampa Bay secondary is not good. Mm -hmm. You're doing it against a team that can't throw. And pass rushers and all the shit. Is JPP back tonight? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I know, I know Gronk's out. I know Levante David's out. I don't know if, I don't know if JPP is going to be back for tonight or not. Even if he's not, I, I mean, 
It doesn't really he matter. He is. To me. He and Ryan Jensen are, okay. are expected to play tonight. Antoine Winfield's out tonight, too. And I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, you mark my words, this is how this is going to go. Because I've gone up and down the Bucks roster trying to figure out, okay, what are you going to do with Levante David? Mm-hmm. Because now Levante David's hurt. He won't be in the lineup. All right, so how do you replace that? There's only one way that makes any sense to me. And it's your place in with Joe Tron Sheboygan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shenanigans. Shoyinka. It's fine. I, I can't remember his name. Sorry. You're a good player. You, you changed your name after you got drafted, so forever I will never remember your name properly. Just call him Joe Tryon. If you want to change your name, that's fine. Just change it while you're going through the draft process. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Right. I cannot remember it as it currently sits. But looking at it, it's either him or K.J. Britt, mm-hmm. and I think it will be. I, I think you're going to see a lot of three-man front with, with Sue, Vita Vea, and Golston. Pierre Paul, Shaq Barrett, and Tryon Shoyinka. Mm-hmm. It's on there my screen. It's job. on my screen now, so it's not that hard. Uh, with Devin White. And I think that's the most formidable front seven in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Then you look at the backside, Jamel Dean will play tonight. You added Pierre Desir. He's good for four games a year. Had to. I mean, he's good for four games a year. Mm-hmm. And I look at I look at Jalen Hurts and go, tight window throws are what fuck up this Tampa Bay secondary. He can't do that. Mm-hmm. And so, to me, this is really easy. To me, it's free money. You go to Bet US. You take Tampa Bay minus the seven. You go under the fifty-two and a half, and you enjoy your free doubloons. There you go. Do you disagree with anything I just said? No. I mean, part of me could see, part of me could see this being a blowout. And they, first off, I don't think Tam- I think Tampa Bay is going to cover the seven. As do I. But I think there's a slight possibility that it gets so out of hand that in the late stages it goes over the number but only because Tampa Bay's up 40 to 14 or something and then the last quarter they Somebody just scored. they just stop trying and yeah you, it's not a stop trying well, you, thing. You I mean, know what I mean. I, you're, you're talking about a backdoor cover right. the over I just don't think it's gonna happen yeah so I think it's more likely that going into the fourth quarter it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 31 to 10, mm-hmm. and then each team maybe kicks a field goal in the fourth quarter. Yep. I don't see it going over the 54. 50, what is it? 52 and a half. 52 and a half. I'm sorry, it started at 54. That's what's on my screen right now. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't see it going over that. Obviously, the money has been on it. If you're looking at the gambling action in this game, 74% of the cash is on Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. The tickets are pretty much in line. So there is some sharp money on Philadelphia. It just feels like more's on Tampa Bay. Uh, money line Tampa Bay's ninety eight percent, and the under the the over is actually hitting sixty seven percent. And I think Vegas okay. has that wrong. All right, I, I do. I think, I, I, and it, it looks like the tide has turned on that as the market has come down. And I still think that's right. I, I I look at this game and go, I, I can't get away from some form of twenty eight to thirteen, thirty one to seventeen somewhere in there. Two point ta- or two score Tampa Bay win. Neither team scores more than 35 points, mm-hmm. and that just screams under to me. So I'm taking Tampa minus the seven, and I'm going under the 52 and a half. All right, I will. Uh, I, I will uh, agree with you on both points. Let's fire them cannons. Let's put more powder in them. Though. Fire them cannons! By golly, put more powder in those things. Tampa Bay, Philadelphia, Thursday night football. It's going to be fun for me. Hope it's fun for you. Sorry, Eagles fans. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Join us here in the Sportsocracy every weekday morning at 10 a.m. We're always live in the Wicked Weed studio. Hit that subscribe button so you get all the team-by-team content throughout the 2021 season. We'll see you next time. Thank you.